Hello kids, how are you? Welcome back, I'm teacher Marcus here and today we are going to begin with another unit on social studies. Do you want to know? Yes, we are going to begin with indigenous peoples from Chile. Very interesting topic. So let's begin. It's important to have in mind that these peoples also were found in Argentina and some of them also live in Bolivia and Peru. And so in the north part of our country, we can find cultures such as Quechua, Aymara, Licanantay, Goya, Diaguita, and also Changos all over the coast. In the central part of Chile, we also find Mapuche people. And Mapuche people is divided into many groups inside that area. So we will see that in future lessons. In the south and also zones also live Aoniken, Selnam, Yagan, Kahuescar, and Chono peoples. There are many ways to define indigenous people from Chile, and one of those is the way they related to the environment and how they got together as a group. We have one particular way of living, being nomad. Yes, nomad peoples, they move from one place to another. That means that they never stayed in one place to live. Also, their houses were light and very easy to carry from one place to another. Some of these peoples also hunted and gathered food. And some others, they fish and also gathered seafood from the shores. On the other hand, we have sedentary peoples. Those people lived in only one place. Their houses were strong and durable. Also, they grew their own food and took care of their livestock. And very importantly and interestingly, they designed their own clothes by different techniques of weaving. Hmm, very nice. And so, this is the last part of the video. Here, we are going to summarize what we just taught. We saw our indigenous peoples and their zones, the places where they lived and distributed in Chile. Also, I would like to ask you the next questions. Why do you think nomad people moved? And do you have a nomad or a sedentary type of life? How about your family? Also, here is the new section. Right here is Padlet. Padlet, we use it the other time to talk about bears. Now, you will leave your comments about this lesson and tell me everything you want to know and the things you want to learn. Also, if you didn't learn as well, anything related to this lesson. Was it clear? Did you like this video? Do you want to see more things? Let me know everything and I'll check it out. So now I say goodbye and see you next week. Bye!